Show on the big screen, surviving alone on Mars and surviving a daring tightrope walk between the Trade Center towers. CBS 2's Jill Nicolini has more now on the new movies hitting theaters this weekend that are already stirring Oscar buzz. This will come as quite a shock to my crewmates and to the entire world. But I'm still alive. Surprise. In The Martian, Matt Damon plays an astronaut who's stranded on Mars during a mission. Everyone back on Earth thinks he's dead. He must use all of his survival skills and learn how to grow his own food to stay alive. Director Ridley Scott actually shot the film from four different angles. Rather than painstakingly go one shot at a time, he's, uh, he's doing the movie four times faster. More all-stars make up the cast, including Jessica Chastain, Kate Mara, Kristen Wiig, and Jeff Daniels. People ask me, why do you risk death? Another hot movie this weekend is The Walk, and this stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and he plays French wire walker Philippe Petit, who famously walked in 1974 across the two World Trade Center towers. Kaplan says this is a must-see in 3D. The visuals from 1,300 feet above will astound you, and this biopic is already getting a lot of Oscar buzz, just like the film Free Hell. It's kind of like the idea of you as a Kaplan. <laughs> and this stars Julianne Moore and Ellen Page. It's based on a real story and Julianne Moore's character becomes terminally ill and it chronicles the struggles that she has to get her pension benefits assigned to her same-sex partner. Also in theaters, he named me Malala, the documentary about the young female Pakistani blogger who was shot by the Taliban for speaking out about children's rights and later became the youngest ever Nobel Peace Prize winner. Jill Nicolini, CBS2 News. Now, The Martian is expected to take in around $50 million. A lot to choose from, though, this weekend. How about those effects, huh? Like we're about to fall over. Getting a